Nightmare Night 7, Ghost Ponies Pirate Adventure. Chapter 1, The Night Begins. It was that magical time of year again, Nightmare Night. All of Ponyville was buzzing with excitement as decorations filled the streets, and the air was thick with the scent of caramel apples and pumpkin spice. Ghost Pony stood in front of the mirror, admiring his pirate costume. His hat had a skull and crossbones, and his coat flared dramatically as he turned. He grabbed his plastic cutlass, ready for whatever adventures the night would bring. Ah, matey, he said with a grin, striking a pirate pose. Captain Ghost Pony at your service! From the doorway, Princess Kincaid entered, adjusting her mad scientist goggles. Her lab coat flapped around her as she inspected a fake beaker bubbling with green liquid. What do you think, Ghosty? Mad scientist enough for you? Ghost Pony laughed. You look like you're ready to create an army of monster ponies. That's the idea, she replied with a wink. Let's get the kids ready for some trick-or-treating. In the living room, their children were getting into character. Jack Farmer proudly displayed his Oliver the Cat costume, complete with fluffy orange ears and a striped tail. He darted around the room like the agile feline he was pretending to be. Meow, I'm ready for candy, Jack announced, pawing at the air. Stephanie W. Kincaid tugged on her blue jumpsuit. She was dressed as Bluey, with a big smile plastered on her face as she jumped around excitedly. I can't wait to get candy, Stephanie exclaimed, bouncing around. Danny Farmer, dressed as Bingo, giggled beside her. She tugged at her costume's ears, making them flop. I'm Bingo and I'm ready for some fun. Fiery Ratchet strolled in, adjusting his detective trench coat. His magnifying glass dangled from his neck as he dramatically raised an eyebrow. I'll be keeping an eye out for any mysterious candy snatchers tonight. Lightning Bass, dressed as Jack Skellington, was tuning his guitar. I'm just here to make sure this is the nightmare night to remember, he said, strumming a spooky melody. Mr Black entered with a flourish, his Broadway Willy Wonka costume sparkling under the lights. His cane tapped against the floor as he twirled, singing, Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Ghost Pony smiled as he watched his friends and family prepare. All right, crew, time to hit the streets of Ponyville. Let's see how much treasure we can gather tonight. The group cheered, ready to embark on their nightmare night adventure. Chapter 2. The Pirate's Treasure Hunt As the Ghost Kincaid family and friends roamed the town, Ghost Pony couldn't resist getting into character. He waved his sword dramatically and pointed it at the sky. Ah, ye landlubbers, it's time to hunt for the grandest treasure in all the lands. We be finding sweets and gold. Who's with me? Jack Farmer, in his Oliver the Cat costume, jumped forward. Meow! I'll scout ahead for the best houses, Captain. Stephanie and Danny, in their Bluey and Bingo costumes, ran in circles around Ghost Pony. Aye, aye, Captain, they shouted in unison. Fiery Ratchet, ever the serious detective, adjusted his coat and squinted. I'll be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. You never know who's planning to keep the best candy for themselves. The group made their way through the neighbourhood, their bags quickly filling with candy. At each house, Ghost Pony would strike a dramatic pirate pose, causing the ponies giving out candy to laugh. At one particularly spooky house, Lightning Bass, still strumming his guitar, sang, This is Halloween! This is Halloween! His performance earned them a bonus handful of treats. Princess Kincaid, dressed as a mad scientist, concocted a plan. We need to find the house with the big candy bars. My mad scientist brain says it's somewhere in this neighbourhood. Mr Black leaned on his cane, looking particularly Willy Wonka-like. Ah, but which house is the golden ticket? The group continued through Ponyville, and it wasn't long before they found the rumoured house. A spooky mansion loomed before them, decorated with cobwebs and glowing pumpkins. Ghost Pony grinned. This be it, the treasure of Nightmare Night. Chap Chapter 3, The Haunted Mansion. The group entered the mansion's gate and the atmosphere immediately shifted. The air was cooler and the sounds of eerie music played in the background. Ghost Pony couldn't help but smile as they stepped onto the porch. As they knocked on the door, it creaked open on its own. A pony dressed as a ghostly butler welcomed them inside. Welcome, travellers the butler said in a deep voice. You've come seeking treasure, I presume? Aye, Ghost Pony said, playing along. We're here for the finest loot in all of Equestria. 
The butler motioned for them to enter, and as they stepped inside, they found themselves in a grand hall, filled with cobwebs and flickering candles. The walls were lined with ancient portraits of ponies who seemed to be watching them. Princess Kincaid looked around with a smirk. Feels like I could run a few mad experiments in a place like this. Suddenly, a loud creak echoed through the hall, and a secret door slid open, revealing a dark passage. Fiery Ratchet pulled out his magnifying glass. Looks like we've got a mystery on our hooves. Stephanie and Danny jumped in excitement. Let's go! Let's go! Jack, still in his Oliver the Cat costume, crouched low and darted ahead. I'll scout it out! Chapter 4 The Secret Passage The group entered the secret passage, their excitement growing as they moved deeper into the mansion. Ghost Pony led the way, holding his sword high like a true pirate captain. This way, me hearties! We're close to the treasure! I can feel it! The passage twisted and turned, eventually leading them to a large chamber. In the centre was a chest, glowing with an eerie light. Lightning Bass strummed a spooky chord on his guitar. Looks like we found the loot! Ghost Pony approached the chest, his heart racing with excitement. He reached out and opened it slowly. Inside was a massive pile of the best candy they had ever seen. Full-sized chocolate bars, caramel apples, and even some rare treats that weren't found anywhere else in Ponyville. Ah, oh, we've struck gold, Ghost Pony cheered, grabbing a handful of candy. Stephanie, Danny, and Jack rushed forward, filling their bags with the treasure. Princess Kincaid smiled, watching her family celebrate. This has been the most successful experiment yet. Mr. Black, tapping his cane against the floor, said with a grin, Well, I'd say we've all won the golden ticket tonight. Fiery Ratchet adjusted his magnifying glass. Case closed. Chapter 5. The Return Home After gathering their treasure, the group left the haunted mansion and made their way back to Ponyville. The night was still young, but their bags were full and their hearts were happy. Ghost Pony, still in his pirate costume, looked at his family and friends. This has been one nightmare night we'll never forget. Princess Kincaid nodded, her mad scientist goggles still on. Agreed. Next year, though, I'll have an even better experiment ready. As they walked back home, Lightning Bass strummed his guitar, playing a gentle tune that matched the peaceful night around them. Mr. Black twirled his cane, whistling along. Stephanie, Danny and Jack raced ahead, already talking about next year's costumes. Ghost Pony put his arm around Princess Kincaid, smiling. Aye, my love, this night was a grand adventure. And so with full bags and full hearts, the Ghost Kincaid family and their friends returned home, ready to enjoy their spoils and dream of the next Nightmare Night adventure.